Mr. President, President Kagame of Republic of uh, Rwanda, Minister Che Munki, Minister of Future Planning and ICT of Korea, Mr. Carlos Limelu, President of Grupo Carso, my dear colleagues, Hulin Zhao, Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Francois Rancy, Director of BR, Mr. Malcolm Johnson, Director of TSB, Mr. Brahim Asanu, Director of uh, BDT. My dear colleague, Michel Jarreau, Director General of uh, WMO. My dear colleague, Michel Sidibe, Director General of uh, uh, ONU SIDA. Dear former elected officials of ITU, Mr. Jam Jigap, former Deputy Secretary General of ITU, you are present in this room. Former Director of BDT, Ahmed Lawian, former Director of uh, BR, Mr. Valery Timofiev, Chairman of ITU Council, Abubakar Zumba, and Vice Chairman, Mr. Min. Dear Councillors, Ministers, Ambassadors, dear colleagues and friends. Excellencies, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony on World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. As you know, we celebrate this annually on 17 May to mark the founding of ITU in 1865. This year is the 149th anniversary of the Union which analysts have quite rightfully recognized as one of the most resilient organizations in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating this event just one day after having concluded the last ITU Council for the cycle in preparation for the ITU Plain Potentiary Conference that will be held in Busan, Republic of Korea, from 20 October until 7 November this year. I take this opportunity to thank ITU Council members for their presence here at this ceremony. Today, as our 193 member states, our 700 or so of private companies and all our partners and well-wishers in the ICT industry, as well as people around the world, celebrate this day we also recognize three eminent personalities who have contributed tremendously to the growth and development of ICT and broadband. Let me congratulate the laureates of this year's World Telecommunication and Information Society Award, who have been honored in recognition of their leadership and dedication toward promoting information and communication technology development and broadband connectivity as a means of achieving sustainable development. I welcome His Excellency President Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, His Excellency Mr. Choi Moon Ki, Minister of Science, ICT, and Future Planning, as the representative of Her Excellency Ms. Park Gyun Hee, President of the Republic of Korea and Mr. Carlos Limielu, Chairman of Grupo Carso and President of the Carlos Slim Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, this year for World Telecommunication and, Telecom and Information Society Day, we highlight the theme Broadband for Sustainable Development as adopted by ITU Council in 2013. Our distinguished laureates are among the greatest champions of broadband in the world. They have supported our work with tremendous zeal and together we have accomplished a lot, particularly in highlighting the key role ICTs and broadband play in the global economy, as well as in leveraging sustainable development. President Kagame, President Park, and Carlos Limhelu are recognized today for their leadership and dedication toward 
promoting ICTs and broadband connectivity as a means of achieving sustainable development. Their presence here is an inspiration for all of us and to our global audience for whom high-speed connectivity has opened new avenues to communicate anytime, anywhere with friends, family, colleagues, and even things. And as we enter the era of machine-to-machine -machine communications. As you know, President Paul Kagame and Carlos Slim are the two co-chairs of the United Nations Broadband Commission for Digital Development. Together, they have placed this important agenda on the world map and have convinced member states at the United Nations, as well as experts, academics, and citizens elsewhere, that broadband and ICTs are critical for the future of our planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the right to communication is central to the information society we live in. It is a key principle for equitable, affordable, and universal access to information and knowledge that in turn empowers people to meet their aspiration and achieve their development goals. The right to communicate is in fact the motivating factor and impetus that drives us from the information society we live in today to the knowledge society that we are dreaming of, that we are entering to. For nearly 150 years, ITU has been the one single organization devoted to making it possible for people everywhere, wherever they live, wherever they may be, whenever and whatever their circumstances, even in the remotest corners of the world, to communicate. And it has been an endeavor to support the telecommunication and ICT industry with the latest, most advanced standards that are interoperable globally, so that everyone has access to state-of-the-art information and communication technologies. We have been doing this since our inception, since the days of the telegraph. And today, what a revolution we have seen. Even 10 years ago, we could not have imagined what we could do today at the click of a fingertip. Ladies and gentlemen, broadband connectivity is a critical element in ensuring that ICTs are used as effective delivery vehicle for health education, governance, trade, and commerce in order to achieve sustainable social economic growth. ITU is therefore committed to achieving universal access to broadband connectivity and to foster the political will needed to achieve this objective. It is now well recognized that digital inclusion is a transformative tool to fast track sustainable development. In order to realize its full potential, it is essential to roll out high-speed broadband networks, making it affordable as well as universally accessible. In this respect, ITU and the Broadband Commission for Digital Development are at the forefront of advocating the rollout of broadband, which is today the world's economic engine as well as the catalytic agent to leverage sustainable development for the future well-being of our planet and its in inhabitants. ITU's commitment to push the broadband agenda for sustainable development highlights the dual goals of supporting the development of mobile broadband and the continued rollout of fixed line technologies while meeting the global challenges of our times, such as combating climate change. As we embark on the post-2015 development agenda and set out more ambitious and inclusive goals to make the world a better place, we need to ensure that we have the necessary tools and mechanisms in place to make it a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, broadband-based ICT networks are powerful cross-cutting enablers to achieve the three pillars of sustainable development 
economic growth, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability. We must therefore commit ourselves in the service of humanity to make broadband the central element of the post-2015 sustainable development agenda. I call upon our partners and all of you gathered here today to identify key gaps in broadband research and development infrastructure and package development of applications and services. Define policy priorities for action in the areas of allocating radio frequency spectrum for broadband, universal access obligations, and innovative financing mechanism, and to seek leading edge technological solutions, particularly in the extension of broadband access to rural areas, as Secretary General Ban Ki moon just said and especially for least developed countries and small island developing states. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, let us put our resources together to harness the catalytic role of ICTs in achieving sustainable development. It is the key to ensuring a better future for all. I thank you. <laughs>